Okay, good morning folks and welcome back to the channel and I do thank you all for watching and uh, thank all my subscribers and as you can see I now have this first bay completed. I've got all the epoxy work done. I'm not going to come back and fiberglass these uh, corners right here, these lower corners until later. I think I'm going to wait until I get all of these bays done before I lay in that fiberglass tape. Let's do it all at one time. Um, also, I do want to tell you about some changes that I will be making to the channel in the coming months. And uh, hopefully uh, those will be some uh, positive changes. I am now posting over on rumble.com and uh, uh, so I will put a link to my rumble channel down below and uh, of course uh, you know, I'm just trying to uh, do whatever I can to make improvements to this channel. Also I'm going to be upgrading some of my electronics. Uh, my my uh, Canon camcorder here that I'm recording this on right now it's pretty much on its last legs. Let's let that guy go by. And uh, like I said, this Canon camcorder is pretty much on its last leg. So, yeah, I'm going to be looking to upgrade my electronics, uh, uh, getting a better computer system so I can download some of the uh, better video editors that are out there, Movavi, ClipChamp, whatever. And uh, so, uh, like I said, it's just a time to make some much needed improvements to this channel and uh, just try to take it to the next stage and hopefully get this channel monetized. <laughs> it would be nice. Uh, uh, to get a little bit extra income coming in here. I mean, you know, you know what they say, you know, every little bit helps, especially as I get closer to retirement. So uh, anyway, folks, that's all I have uh, to say about that. Um, I will be moving into this next bay here. And uh, this is just slow, tedious work. I mean, my gosh, this right here was probably about five hours worth of work. It should go a little bit faster in these bays because I don't have to work around these gussets and this is kind of what uh, took so long I just had to work up underneath those gussets right there and uh, you know that was just tedious and time consuming uh, but that's all I have for right now folks uh, a lot of this is just repetitious it's time consuming and uh, what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna show you each bay as I get them complete and then we'll just move on from there all right we'll catch you in the next segment Oh yeah, this is going to be time consuming. Just uh, to lay down the epoxy and uh, you know, just, just wetting down the bottom of this, these two compartments right here with resin, getting the thickened epoxy beads laid in. This was about two hours worth of work. Just these two compartments. And like I said, I'm going to uh, approach this by going uh, one complete bay at a time. And what I consider to be a bay is uh, whatever compartments are between each rib so this would be a complete bay right here but yeah wow this is this is going to be time consuming folks and, and like i said it's just a lot of repetitive work and uh, that's why i'm not recording it for you you have seen me mix and lay in thickened epoxy many many times now so all i'm going to do is just uh, carry on more to come and i'm back and the other half of this bay is now done. That's the second bay aft of the bulkhead. And uh, this one went just a little bit faster this afternoon. Maybe that means I'm finally getting good at this stuff. All right, folks. Next. Okay, folks, I'm back. And I'm getting a little bit close to the halfway point here. I still have a lot of that epoxy work to do in the rest of the boat here. But these compartments here, this bay here, it presents a little bit of a different type of a challenge. And uh, what I mean by that is, this is where the two halves of the boat, the front and the back half, are spliced together. And as you may recall, uh, this is uh, not one big long sheet of plywood right here. I, mean, I actually had to splice two sheets of plywood together end to end in order to have a piece long enough to make my bottom panels and my side panels way back when I was doing all that. So uh, what this is right here, this is actually the top side of one of those uh, scarf joints, one of those scarf splices. And as you may recall, I uh, had a scarf sled set up 
and uh, I put scarf cuts on those uh, sheets of plywood and bonded them end to end and uh, so this is one sheet of plywood this is a uh, another sheet of plywood right here so what I'm going to do here instead of just uh, filling in the corners with epoxy now I am going to do that but I also would feel just a little bit more comfortable if I came in here and uh, laid down some fiberglass on top of these splices right here and that's just to add uh, a little bit more strength and just uh, gives me a little bit more peace of mind so I'm gonna get set up for that now I'm only going to show you uh, one of these compartments right here I have four compartments in this bay right here uh, that need that but I'll just uh, take you through the one uh, so let me get the camera set up and I will be right back okay so I've got this compartment wet down as you can see right there uh, over the top of that that, that seam that joint and uh, actually have all four of these compartments wet down and I poured my resin into a paint pan and that is to preserve the pot life that's to extend the pot life of that resin just a little bit if I leave it in one of those little mixing cups uh, it tends to generate heat and it fires off a little bit quicker than I want it to but I'm, what I'm going to do here today is I'm just going to use some of my scrap fiberglass pieces and uh, lay them in there then when I get those laid in I'm going to lay a piece of tape over the top of that and then just wet it all down and call it a day. Here we go. Okay, folks, I think you get the general idea what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I've just got to do that now three more times, and I need to get busy with that before the resin fires off. All right, we'll catch you in the next segment. Okay, so all four of these compartments are done. That's what I was talking about. And uh, I know right now it may be difficult to see, but there are two layers of fiberglass on top of that seam right there on top of that joint and so with that we are going to go ahead and call it a night and we will catch you later and I think that's a good place to wrap up this video uh, folks there's just uh, so much of the work that I'm doing right now it's just uh, it's repetitive and I think what I'm going to do I'm just going to break this up into a series of shorter videos and so we're going to go ahead like I said we're going to wrap this one up I do thank you all for watching God bless each and every one of you, and as I always say, in all things, to God be the glory. And again, thank you all for watching.